Hi, it's Dwyer, gamblersadvisory.com, DwyerVIP.com for premium picks. Look us up in the sports section on Roku. We're there. Dwyer Boxing and Sports News. Remember, the opinion you should follow should be your own. Just consider this video to be a second opinion from a complete stranger online. Now, there is a fight. It's for the WBA Super World Light Welterweight title, right? And the WBC Light Welterweight title. It's between Danny Garcia and Mauricio Pereira. Now, Danny Garcia right now, as I make this video one week before the fight, is a whopping 7-1 to one favorite. Danny Garcia is unbeaten. Mauricio Herrera is viewed as an average Joe. But let me tell you, that's deceptive. Mauricio Herrera has actually been in the ring with much better competition than you think. He's even at times beaten elite competition. Would it surprise you to know that Mauricio Herrera, who has never been knocked out, never went the distance with Ruslan Provotnikov, one of the current champions, very heavy hitter. Right, by the way, while I disagreed with the verdict, the decision. Herrera actually was awarded the decision over Pavotnikov in the 2011 fight. Would it surprise you to know that Herrera went the distance with Karim, the hit of Mayfield? Right? Mayfield, by the way, is still unbeaten. Would it surprise you to know that Herrera went the distance with Jihoon Kim? who carries a very big punch for the weight class. Herrera also went the distance with Mike Dallas Jr. And Herrera even went the distance with Mike Alvarado. Now I've just named some former champs. I've named an unbeaten fighter. I've named another guy with a heavy punch. And the one constant in all of this is that Herrera is a survivor. Again, despite fighting these names, he's never been knocked out. The play I'm recommending here, because I consider Danny Garcia, as good as he is, to be a mid-range hooker, predictable in the ring. Right? Ashley Theopain went the distance with Danny Garcia. Eric Morales, the first time, went the distance with Danny Garcia. Right? Because I consider Danny Garcia to be a mid range hooker where you know where the punches are coming from. Right? Because guys who know their way around the ring, Zab Judah, have been able to go the distance with Danny Garcia. The bet I'm recommending, and it's high risk. Folks, this is the high risk part of the internet. Is that you take seven to one long shot, Mauricio Herrera, to go over. In fact, take the fight to go over. You have a survivor who's been in with elite competition. He's in his 30s. And he's fighting a fighter who's not that complicated, right? Mid-range hookers aren't the type of guys who suddenly start throwing straight punches and straight counters, right? If you know you're fighting a mid-range hooker, you can smother that mid-range hooker by getting too close to him. And you can stay away from the mid-range hooker by being too far away from him. At a minimum, you know to lift your hands up. I believe Ruslan Pavotnikov is a harder matchup for an opponent than Danny Garcia because Pavotnikov will bend, get inside, and have his head right here. That's not Danny's game. 
So I'm not saying Herrera beats Danny Garcia, but what I am saying is the odds are out of whack here on this fight, in my opinion. And the opponent is being underestimated. I like this fight to go over. Keep an eye on it. Right? I'm guessing this fight makes it to at least the ninth or tenth rounds. Right? I think Herrera is going to keep the pace measured. I think Danny Garcia is going to come in, try to step on the gas early, but then Garcia, who is from Philly and knows boxing, Philly is one of those boxing meccas here in the United States. I believe Danny Garcia is going to realize that he's in the ring with an above average fighter who's mentally tough. Take a look at Herrera's fa uh, face at the end of the Richland Provodnika fight. It's all red. He's all battered. I'll tell you what. He was still trying to compete in the last two rounds against a very big hitter. Let me also point out, too, that it's very hard to go the distance against Mike Alvarado. Right? Very hard. You saw how battered Brandon Rios looked at the end of their second fight. Mauricio Herrera, the 7-1 to one long shot right now, according to OddsChecker.com, and check the odds at OddsChecker.com, went the distance with Mike Alvarado. Right? I think... This KG vet is going to know how to block Garcia's punches from the outside, right? I think Herrera is going to know how to survive. I view Herrera as having better defense, right, than Lucas Matisse, who went several rounds with Danny Garcia, right? Give this fight a look. See where the over-under lands. I'm expecting be over to provide you with rich odds because Garcia is a popular, unbeaten, explosive fighter whose highlights, such as the Eric Morales rematch, look dramatic on film. Don't get fooled by the hype. Look at what he throws, right? You don't see a lot of uppercuts and stuff like that. It's all hooks. Against a vet in his 30s, who has gone several rounds, you can defense that. I like the over in this fight. That's my recommended play. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for me here online. Visit us at gamblersadvisory.com. Thanks for stopping by.